Sony has been on a massive roll lately, not only in terms of quality, but quantity as well. Dropping cameras for vloggers to cinema style shooters to photographers and everyone in between, it really seems like Sony is determined to make sure everyone has a camera that meets all of their specific needs. And they're continuing this trend in a huge way with the release of the Alpha 6700, a compact next gen APS-C model with superb still and movie performance. Combining the best of Sony's Alpha series still image capabilities with their acclaimed Cinema Line's video capturing performance into a brand new APS-C camera, this is meant to be an all-in-one hybrid camera for photographers and videographers of all flavors, all while trying to keep your bank account happy. But that's not all. We also have Sony's brand new shotgun mic, the ECM M1, to go over as well. So let's jump right into it. With the A6700 being the first new 6000 series camera in almost four years, we're gonna start off by going over what's changed between the A6600 and the 6700. The A6700 features the same 26.1 megapixel APS-C BSI CMOS sensor as the FX30, meaning you can record up to 4K at 60p uncropped and up to 120p with a slight crop, as well as HD at 240p. The latest Bions XR image processing engine gives you a top continuous shooting rate of 11 FPS with AF and AE and permits 16-bit recording with 14-bit RAW file output for a wider tonal and color scale. Compare that to the A6600's 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor and Bions X image processor and you're getting massive upgrades to the resolution, sensitivity, noise, dynamic range, as well as lifelike gradations and colors. Speaking of color, the A6700 sports S Cinetone, giving your video a cinematic look without grading, along with S-Log3 and a 422 10-bit internal as opposed to the 6600's 8-bit. Physically, Sony has made improvements to the grip, dials, buttons, and the very angle LCD screen. This makes handheld shooting easier and switching to and from desired settings much faster. All of the ports, slots, and jacks can be found on the shooter's left-hand side, complete with mic, USB-C, SD card, micro HDMI, and headphone jack. So with that said, let's look at the A6700 in action. As the flagship APS-C camera, it's an amalgamation of a lot of Sony's more recent cameras. So as a result, you'll find a lot of familiar features in here. We'll start off with a celebrated feature of the FX30, low light shooting. Sharing the same sensor, the A6700 feels right at home in low lit environments, being able to shoot at ISO 100 to 32,000. Whether it was dusk, twilight, or in the middle of the night, I was able to capture footage with great image quality, and the high sensitivity left me with minimal noise. The A6700 is great in environments that are abundant with light as well. Part of this is thanks to the combined efforts of a new auto exposure algorithm that detects skin area and controls exposure accordingly, and the camera's AI processing unit, which helps to achieve more accurate white balance in difficult lighting environments, such as on bright sunny days like this. The five axis in-body stabilization came in handy for these pictures taken on the ocean when we took on bumpy waves. No matter the scenario, we were able to capture brilliant looking pictures and footage at all focal lengths. By the way, if you like this picture right here, it was taken with Sony's all new FE4 70 to 200 millimeter macro G OSS2 lens, which was also announced today. If you'd like to know more about that, I also did a video on it that you can find in the link down below. Other newer Sony features also make a return here, such as AI real-time recognition autofocusing and tracking for intelligent subject tracking and real-time eye autofocus to lock onto subject's eyes for portraits. True for both human and four-legged friends. You're getting high-level S&Q performance with the A6700 as well, with up to five times slow motion in 4K and up to 10 times in HD recording. And the latest Image Edge software is ideal for creating time-lapse video. Being lightweight and portable, the A6700 is great for on-the-go shooting, so YouTubers, vloggers, and independent interviewers will be especially interested in the new ECM M1 portable shotgun mic that was also announced today as well. At the time of this recording, this is the first 8-dial selectable audio recorder. Each dial represents a different pickup pattern activated through one of four different channels. 
Anything from cardioid to omnidirectional to stereo and everything in between is available all in a compact body with outstanding versatility and audio quality. The two modes I found most impressive, however, were the super directional front rear and front rear left right selections, which lend themselves greatly to intimate two person interviews. Hey, so what's your uh, favorite flavor of ice cream to eat in the summers? My favorite flavor of ice cream to eat in the summer would probably have to be vanilla because it's the most refreshing and uh, when the heat's really intense, you just you don't want anything complicated. Totally, I get that. Yeah. What's even cooler is that when the mic is set to the left-right mode, you're able to split the right and left channels in post for any adjustments that you may need to make to one of the two channels. This allows you to adjust the levels of both individuals separately. The mic's audio signal is directly transmitted through the multi-interface shoe. No cabling required. It also comes with switchable noise cancellation and low cut filters for when you find yourself in noisy environments. If a lot of this sounds familiar, that's because it should. This camera inherits many of the latest features Sony has been adding to its most recent cameras. With everything the A6700 has to offer, it's great for all types of hybrid shooters and content creators. But what are your thoughts on the A6700? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We always enjoy hearing what you guys have to say. Till then, I'm Sam with B&H, and I'll see you next time.